it Taz. This is going to be an elaborate video about the different spices used in Indian cooking. I love Indian cooking, Indian food and the spices used in it. So Indian food is all about flavors, mesmerizing aroma and when you have it, it will certainly excite your taste buds. If you are new to Indian cooking or if you are curious about the different spices used in Indian cooking, you might find this video very helpful. So I'm going to walk you through the different spices that's commonly used in Indian cooking. So are you guys ready? So let's get started. When we think about Indian cooking, the first thing that comes to our mind is curry. Curry is basically a gravy based dish and for making curry, we add a blend of ground spices. So it's not made by just one spice, but it's made by a mix or a blend of different Indian spices. If you have come across curry powders in Indian stores, it actually has a blend of different spices. Firstly, let me talk about the chili powders used in Indian cooking. There are two kinds of chili powders commonly used in our cooking. So the first kind is the regular chili powder that's made by grinding dried red chilies. It's very hot and that's what imparts the heat to Indian dishes. The second kind is the Kashmiri chili powder. It's very mild compared to the regular chili powder and it's made by grinding Kashmiri dried red chilies. Kashmiri chili powder imparts a vibrant red color to Indian dishes. So if you have come across Indian dishes that's red and vibrant in color, that's because we have added Kashmiri chili powder to it. Here are the chili powders. So this is the hot chili powder and this one is the Kashmiri chili powder. At first sight, both of them look kind of similar. However, if you look close, you will find the difference. The regular hot chili powder has a light red color and the Kashmiri chili powder has a vibrant deep red color. Even the dried chilies look different. So the for the hot version, the dried chilies are long and they are thinner. And for the Kashmiri dried chilies, they are thicker, wider, and also it has a wrinkled texture. Now, if you slightly inhale the chili powders, you will feel a significant difference in their aroma. Now, don't try to inhale it deep. It's very hot and you will start sneezing. So the Kashmiri chili powder, it has a more smoky aroma than the regular hot chili powder. So now you know the difference between the Kashmiri chili powder and the regular hot chili powder. The next spice that's commonly used in Indian cooking is turmeric. It has a beautiful vibrant yellow color and these are the fresh turmeric roots. So these are dried and ground to make this fine powder. I have to talk a little bit about this turmeric, the fresh root or the ground turmeric. They have phenomenal health benefits and also used as a medicine. Here's a tip that I wanted to share with you guys to get the health benefits out of this turmeric. What I do often is since I have the fresh root, I will grate a little bit of this fresh root to water and then I keep sipping that water. Or you can add a quarter teaspoon of this ground turmeric. So that way you can get the health benefits out of this amazing spice. So we covered chili powders and turmeric powder. The next three amazing ground spices commonly used in Indian cooking are ground cumin, ground coriander and ground fennel. Here are the cumin seeds and this is the ground cumin. So ground cumin is used in almost all kind of cuisines and everybody's aware of it. So it imparts a nice smoky flavor and aroma to any dish. Here are the coriander seeds and when we grind it we get ground coriander. So ground coriander is widely used in Indian cooking. In most of the Indian dishes we use this particular ground spice and coriander it has a refreshing and lemony flavor. And here are the fennel seeds and the ground fennel. So ground fennel and ground coriander. Ground fennel it is a little more milder though they both look alike. It has a, they have very distinct um, flavor and aroma. 
uh, ground fennel is more milder version while ground coriander has a little more intense uh, flavor and taste. In Indian cooking, besides adding these ground spices, we also use the whole cumin seeds or coriander seeds or fennel seeds for making some of the dishes. So we add it to the oil and that way it will enhance the flavor of the oil and then we add other ingredients. In some dishes, especially South Indian dishes, we roast these whole seeds and then we'll grind it into a fine powder and then we will use that ground spice uh, to the dishes that will make it very flavorful and aromatic. Next I'm going to talk about the aromatic whole spices, my favorite spices. In most of the Indian dishes we add garam masala. So garam masala is essentially a blend of several aromatic whole spices like whole cardamom, whole cloves, whole cinnamon, we also add star anise, nutmeg, maize, and sometimes dried bay leaves are also added to it. So when we grind all these aromatic whole spices, we'll get garam masala. I would say garam masala is a star ingredient in any of the Indian dish, and it will make any dish aromatic, flavorful, and it will also enhance the taste of Indian dishes greatly. Here are the aromatic whole spices that's used in making garam masala. So here are the whole cardamom. I'm a huge fan of whole cardamom. Um, if you inhale cardamom, you keep inhaling, you cannot stop it. It has a mesmerizing aroma, very pleasant and kind of a floral, a little bit of nutty uh, aroma and flavor. So here are whole cloves. It has an intense uh, pungent smell and flavor. So these are mace, yet another whole spice. It has, a, it has an intense um, flavor and aroma. And these are star anise. It has star-shaped, um, very distinct uh, flavor and uh, aroma. Mm. You have to smell all these whole spices. It's, it's, it's just amazing. Now these are, and about star anise, these are widely used in Asian cooking, in Vietnamese and Chinese cuisine they use this. Uh, I believe Chinese five spice they use star anise in making that. One of the ingredients is star anise. Now here are the dried bay leaves. So the fresh bay leaves are dried. So in Indian cooking we add the dried bay leaves to oil so it will flavor up the oil and also in biryanis um, mostly we use it in oil and even for making garam masala you can add a few dried bay leaves and grind it. Now these are whole cinnamon. So these are the barks of uh, cinnamon tree. Um, yeah, this is very widely popular. We It's used in a lot of cuisines. Um, it's used in both sweet and savory dishes. Here are the whole black pepper. So who doesn't know about black pepper, right? This is used in almost all cuisines. And in Indian cooking, we use both the ground version and also the whole black pepper. It's roasted along with other whole spices and we make a spice blend. So this will impart a nice heat uh, to that spice mix. For making garam masala, we roast these whole spices and then we'll grind it into a fine powder. Since these whole spices are packed with aroma and flavor, so garam masala has a incredible aroma and it will enhance the taste and flavor of any Indian dish. My version of garam masala, I don't add all of these whole spices. I only add whole cardamom, whole cloves and whole cinnamon and grind it into a coarsely fine powder. How to store the whole spices and the ground spices. So here's my beautiful spice rack. So the spices that I use regularly, I usually keep those spices in here. And the other ground spices and whole spices, I store it in an airtight container like this. So the ground spices, uh, you can store it in the airtight container for up to an year. So that way it will retain the aroma and flavor. And the whole spices, it can be stored up to two years, like whole cardamom, whole cloves and whole cinnamon. All right, so that kind of sums up most of the Indian spices that's commonly used in Indian cooking. If you go to my blog, Tazneen.com, you will find several Indian recipes I've blogged over the years, so do check it out. To summarize, 
Uh, in most of the Indian dishes, we add chili powder that will impart the heat. And for more uh, vibrant red color, we use Kashmiri chili powder. That's the milder version. And we also add turmeric powder and ground coriander, ground cumin, and the aromatic garam masala. So ground fennel, we don't use it in all of the Indian dishes. It's only used in certain Indian dishes. So if you have any questions regarding Indian spices and Indian cooking, do feel free to message me and I'll be happy to answer your questions. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to my channel. I'm also very active on Instagram and Facebook. So let's stay connected. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. I'll be back with more videos. Until then, happy cooking and bye.